Joined now by GMAC Men's Cross Country Athlete of the Week, Caleb Pell. He's from Alderson Broadus University. And Caleb, uh, can you share a few of your thoughts from your last race this past weekend at the Lock Haven Invitational? Well, I knew that it was a big field. There was guys from, you know, Lock Haven, Slippery Rock, so it was really competitive. And I knew that I probably wasn't going to be, you know, top 10 or anything like that. But I just uh, picked out a few guys that I knew from, you know, Wesleyan or places like that that I knew that I could stay with. And I just tried to, you know, run with them and see what I could do. Yeah, as you mentioned, uh, it's such a large field, and you managed to clock the sixth best 8K time in the conference this year. Um, how do you evaluate your own improvement throughout the fall, especially since you're a freshman? Well, um, at the beginning of the season, I was about where I left off in track season my senior year. And then just upping my mileage throughout the, throughout the fall season, it kind, of, it kind of made me feel stronger. And I could feel gradually week by week that I was getting a little bit better. And I just felt a whole lot stronger towards like going into Lock Haven that I, I knew that I could kind of, kind of get a really good time. Uh, talk about the youth movement over at Alderson Broadus. Um, multiple first-year runners contributing for both the men and women. And uh, how do you project the future of the cross-country program? Well, I mean, yeah, we have a lot of good freshmen. They're pretty solid. I mean, I'm the only freshman guy, but uh, we have a couple sophomores on the guys' side that are, I mean, they still have a few years. And, I mean, we're getting better each week. The girls, they're, they have a lot of freshmen that are really good. And, I mean, they – they can run together as a pack, and then, or they could spread out, and they just they can take off in a race. They're pretty solid. And uh, the GMAC championship meet will be here before we know it. Uh, conventional wisdom tells us that West Virginia schools will have an advantage uh, since the meet is in Elkins, West Virginia, since they're familiar with the area. But uh, what are your thoughts? Um, yeah, I definitely think we have an advantage because I mean we're used to this. I mean. Every day we go out and practice, and there's not a practice that we don't run with hills. And, I mean, we ran at that course the very first meet of the season. So, I mean, we kind of know all the, the ups and downs, when to, when to speed up, when, when you can relax, stuff like that. But I definitely think schools from West Virginia have the advantage. Caleb, thanks for your time today, and best of luck to you in your next meet. All right, thank you.